So I remember what must have been easily about a decade ago uh, when I first got into the uh, the dating industry and I was an intern actually working at a very prestigious dating company based in London at the time. And they had lots of dating coaches and life coaches of sorts working underneath them. I remember at the time believing that it was not possible to do day game or cold approaching and talking to strangers, but that understanding very quickly turned around when I was spending so much time under the wings of different dating coaches and just watching them effortlessly talk to women in the most bizarrest of scenarios. And by that, I mean places like in coffee shops or on the street. But as time had gone on, and certainly over the last decade, it became even more apparent to me the reason as to why doing day game or cold approaching works so well. So my name is Dan, I'm that dating anxiety guy, and if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on lots of juicy anxiety content that's gonna help you to hopefully get a little bit better, a little bit more confident with women that you're attracted to. Now, again, when I first started, I thought about things in one particular way and then as time has gone on, it's changed. And I think really the reason why doing day game and cold approaching works so well is because most people's dating lives are incredibly boring and uninteresting. And I'm not just talking about with men here, I'm talking about with women as well. And certainly female friends of mine that I've had over the years where I've been able to ask them like how their dating lives have been or perhaps maybe they've even told me, that you know, they're just meeting people who just aren't interesting, they're really boring, or they're just not the, the kind of guy that they're looking for that they could see themselves having a relationship with. And day game and cold approaching works because it creates that spark, that adventure, that romantic feeling that I think most people have lost these days because they're just so reliant on the dating apps to do all of the uh, the dating matching for them. And the reality is, is that, you know, all of the good guys who are just relying on the dating apps, I mean, they're not meeting the kind of quality women that they're hoping for. And same for the women, they're just meeting the guys who just have the, uh, the top 20% profiles, who have the most prestigious photos or the most amazing jobs and lifestyles and it's just selling a dream to these women and who wouldn't fall for that you know but it does mean though that you know the good guys are essentially being left behind here and they're missing out on opportunities and it's why I do think the skill of just talking to strangers and overcoming social anxiety really is important because you just can't be in-person communication. And when you have that, you feel that connection, you feel that attraction, and certainly you feel that romance as well. And I know with a lot of situations that I've had over the years where I have had relationships with people that I genuinely have cared and loved for, have happened because I've met them in person. And only maybe one or two have been through dating apps over the years as well. So if you're finding that your dating life is incredibly boring, and this video could be applicable to both men and to women here, but if your dating life is boring, then you have to do something different. You can't just rely on dating apps to get you a date. You're not gonna meet the kind of quality person that you could potentially meet your forever person with. You know, it sounds cheesy and it, and it is, but if you want to really meet someone special, that you need to do it in person. You need to be able to kind of filter through conversations what you like and what you don't like, and even the kind of person that you're attracted to. When a lot of people, I think, get into doing uh, dating, whatever age, you know, we'll, we'll say from like 18 years old here, I think for the younger generations now, where they're not really used to meeting people in person, uh, they're just relying on the dating apps, that's all they know. So they're gonna have much higher social anxiety than people who grew up 
meeting people and dating people before the dating apps were even founded and created. So bringing back that ability to talk to strangers, and certainly if you've got the uh, the cojones to do it on the street or in a coffee shop or in just whatever location to go up to someone, strike a conversation and make it clear that you're attracted to them and see if that's reciprocated as well for you to get a phone number and take it elsewhere. That needs to come back. And I think the more that that can be encouraged, the better the dating lives everyone's gonna have. Again, both men and women. It's gonna just bring that romance back and that excitement rather than just sort of sitting there and going like, oh, well, I finally matched with another person. Oh, they're, they're okay. I'm not sure if, uh, if I could probably see myself having a relationship with them, but it's been a while since I've had a date. So yeah, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll just go for it. You shouldn't have to have that mentality. And I have met men who do think like that. And it's a shame. I think it's a shame when then you're missing out on opportunities and actually seeing if someone's for you. And I've certainly even heard from women over the years, especially I think when I've worked with some uh, some female dating coaches who specifically have worked with women in the past, or they actually run women's dating events and coaching events. So the women are then going out to go and meet men in real life. It's been just fascinating just even hearing from them what they actually prefer, that they wish guys would come over and talk to them, you know, especially if they've had that kind of like romantic glance at each other as they've gone up and down the escalators, you know, or if they've uh, been in the same workplace or restaurant or bar or in a shop or whatever, and no one has made the first move. So I think really the message here is most people's dating lives really are boring. And so if you're wondering if doing day game or cold approaching or hell, I'll I'll say it even pickup is uh, even worthwhile considering, it is because at least it brings back that initial romance and connection that people would have before the dating apps even existed, before social anxiety really gro- uh, grasped or took hold of the world, you know, it's an important thing to bring back. And it will work because if you end up talking to someone whose dating life really is terrible and they only wish someone confident and someone decent would come along and speak to them, you'll be amazed at actually how welcoming doing cold approaching really can be. So I hope you uh, consider doing day game or doing cold approaching, or at least give it a go. Um, If you do need certainly some help with getting started with that, uh, I do know dating coaches who could be a potential suit for you if you wanna reach out and inquire who I would recommend. Otherwise, I do offer a very, beginner level coaching program, which is a week long, which I've called my dating desensitization therapy, which is just to help you with overcoming your social anxiety and get comfortable with talking to strangers. I'm not really worried about trying to get you phone numbers or get you on dates. That's for a dating coach to worry about. But if I can get you comfortable in preparation even for working with a dating coach, that is what I love being able to help people with. So if you can, please again, like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more stuff. Check out my website below if you are interested in my services. I also offer life coaching and integral eye movement therapy to help hold you more accountable with your life and overcoming any traumas or negative memories of experiences maybe you've had in the past. But otherwise, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this video below. And if you've got any recommendations for other videos that you'd love for me to make as well, then by all means do share them because I really want this channel to be about helping people rather than me just making content that I know people need help with. I'd rather create a bit of a chronological order with stuff and put out the priority uh, needs and requests of, uh, of my 
wonderful viewers, you guys sitting there watching this content wherever you are. So again, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, comment below, and look forward to more anxiety videos coming from me very soon.